Hi guys, this is Coach Rosario from DRS Athletics, and this is DRS Strong Week 106. Our focus of the week is gonna be, it's not a quickie, okay? It's not a quickie. So the whole title is pretty much a quick fix or longevity. So I want you to think about a few things. A quick fix. A quick fix could be for something that you're preparing for when it comes to training. You're preparing maybe for a contest, you're preparing maybe for a test, for a physical test, or maybe the academy, or things like that. Something that is quick. Or maybe you want to just drop 30 pounds. 30 pounds, boom. You know, I want to detox right away. Now, longevity. Longevity, I want you to think about more in terms of long term either with training. Maybe I want to be able to make it to regionals for CrossFit or maybe I want to get very good at this sport and I'm just a freshman in high school so I want to get to the college level and I have to prepare myself to get there. Or, you know, I'm just an average Joe that wants to stay healthy and that wants to continue to be very, you know, fit, very productive with my training but it's over time. Okay, so I want you to have those two things. Quick fix, longevity. Once you have those two scenarios or different scenarios, then you can really understand what the focus of your training is gonna be, right? Is it a quickie or is it a long, long-term longevity type of training program, right? If you are close to disease, let's say you were, you know, I'm close to being diabetic or whatever the, the doctor told me, then you're gonna get your butt and you have to drop maybe 30 pounds or maybe you have to drop completely the sugar, compl completely something different where you're gonna make a life change. Now, after that, you're gonna eventually have to get to the other side, which becomes longevity, to be able to continue to be able to see the progress that you already made within that cold turkey type of month, right? Now, if you have a contest, maybe you're into bodybuilding and you have a contest, well, you have to build up to that to be able to get the cut, to cut the weight, to be able to get to that precise aesthetic look. Now, after that, Things will rebound. Things will go back to a normal state. So how do you keep that up? Well, then maybe you could start gearing towards back to what the longevity is, right? Now, let's say you're in this longevity. You're kind of very comfortable with your training. You know where it's going to you know where it's gonna be every day. Well, maybe let's spark it up. Maybe kind of change back and forth and understand that if you don't keep your stimulus for training or for any activity, your body's not gonna change, your mind's not gonna change, you're gonna stay put where you are. So playing with the quickie, playing with the longevity is gonna be really important. But I think overall, the most important is thinking overall term, thinking big, big picture, right? You have to do little small steps to get to the longevity. Also, in order to stay healthy and injury free, even though you're gonna have aches and pains, you wanna think of how can I build little blocks to eventually have a bigger wall or a stronger brick foundation wall, right? And, and that's something that we, we stop thinking sometimes of how important the foundation is to get eventually to have a long-term goal or to have longevity, regardless of what you do, regardless if it's bodybuilding, regardless if it's just fitness, CrossFit, weightlifting, any sport, you have to start by doing just remember there are no quick fixes there are only things that are temporary if you focus on those things just like when they tell you you'll lose 10 pounds in 30 days you'll lose 30 pounds in 30 days yes absolutely because if you cut cold turkey and then you understand that you have to do certain things to get to that point you will do that but if it, but then what you have to have a plan after that. So eventually everything becomes longevity. Everything should become a long term. And that's how you stay consistent with it. So hopefully you understand there's no quickies. That's the focus of the week. And understanding why you're doing what you're doing and what the purpose of what you're doing. And hopefully you can see both scenarios and keep going. All right.